the first time, he took off his clothes and everything. He then took off Sophia's clothes and he raped her. This happened two or three other times. first came to our organization asking for help and her grandmother and her father were with her. It was a very particular case because she was so young and small and yet she was expecting a baby, a baby she hadn't planned for and that she hadn't wanted. And she understood that it was a situation of violence and that at the end of it all it was good what her family had decided. She said, I want to study, I want to move forward with my life, you know? So. So this baby would be an obstacle to that. I'm okay with what my parents say to do, which is to give the baby up for adoption, or we can take the baby to an orphanage to be adopted later on. That's what she said to me. I felt like I had hit rock bottom. I didn't want to live anymore. We work hard to personalize our services according to the unique circumstances of each case. In order to do this, we offer a psychologist, a pastor to work with the survivor and with the family, and we also seek to have a lawyer commit to the case to ensure that it will be properly processed by the justice system so that we can obtain a fair sentence. Paz y Esperanza is an organization where I could receive support from lawyers and psychologists. The picture I have of Sophia in my head is her sitting on a rock feeding her baby. It has a big impact on me. It continues to move me because she was a 12 or 13 year old girl breastfeeding her baby. She cradled him saying, no, I'm going to raise my child. Whatever happens, I'm going to keep my baby. He is always going to be my son. I came to this conclusion that he is my baby, and it wasn't his fault what has happened. Rather, God blessed me when he gave me this son. This connection that we had was, I think it was significant. It helped her a lot because of the support systems that she had found in her family and in our organization. They helped her to move forward into her new life and a brighter future. They made, they made me feel like I mattered. Paz y Esperanza opened their doors and they welcomed me in. I made friends, and these friendships made me smile again, and they helped me get back on my feet. It is possible for these girls to heal and to continue forward with their lives, and we have seen this in many cases, just like we are now seeing with Sophia.